Previously, we have set up Eclipse, went through the basic principles of web application development with Vadin, and defined rough requirements for our sample application recipe book. In this section, we will go through content navigation. While building our breathtaking recipe book, we will learn about views, navigation, layouts, and windows. Let's get started. An application typically contains views that group UI components and allow users to perform certain actions. Let's take a look at some of the requirements set for a recipe book. The users should be able to log in when required and register before that. So registration form seems like a natural candidate for the first view, register view. Searching for recipes is also one of the requirements. Presenting the search results in a separate view is a good idea. We must be able to view recipes, comment them and rate them naturally. Let's make that one view, food view. Finally, registered and logged in users should be able to manage their settings, username, email address, password and the like. That should be a single view as well. Let's name it settings view. Views in Vadin are interfaces that define only one method, enter. This method is, as you probably guessed, called whenever a view is displayed. View being an interface has a significant advantage over other solutions. Any UI component can be converted into a view by just implementing that interface and defining meaningful behavior upon entering. In most cases, the base class will be a layout, a component that groups other components that will initialize any external resources upon entering. A good practice is to put all the views so that each view occupies its own package in a common package called views. The first view we will create will deal with registration. It should be a basic form with a number of components on it. Let's create a new class. In views register and name it register view. It must implement view and as a basis we will use form layout. This layout arranges components one below another with caption of each component placed to the left meaning that they will end up aligned just like in a typical form, exactly what we plan to achieve here. There, now we need some components. Let's put a text field for email address, two password fields for password, and a checkbox to accept terms and conditions. We will add those components to the layout when we construct it, and write interactions between them later. That should do it for the first view. Let's move on to another. Once the user registers, we should do something. Maybe show the settings view so that the user can provide more information. We do not need a form layout in this case. A regular top to bottom arrangement should be fine. Let's use vertical layout as a base class. This means that the contents of our view will be arranged one component below another, starting from the top of the page. We will also need buttons to save and cancel changes to the user's profile, apart from a few other fields. In addition to the user's profile information, it might be a good idea to allow the user to quickly view all of the recipes that he or she had written. Since we will have a search results view, let's just make a button that will open a predefined search results. Now, this brings us naturally to the third view, search results. A search panel should be located at the top and the results in a tabular or list form should occupy the significant part of the bottom of the page. We have no idea what components we use for this layout, so let's leave it blank for now and come back to it later. Last but not least, the food view. This is where we expect the users to spend the most time with our application. We need flexibility in arranging components to our liking and there will be plenty of them. Let's use the fastest and one of the most flexible layouts available, CSS layout. We can define the main areas of the view. Let's say comments at the bottom, picture and ingredients next to one another in the top, and recipe itself in the middle. But let's keep the view empty for now. We will add more things as we progress with our application. It seems that we have the stops for all four views that we need in recipe book. It's time for us to learn how to navigate to them, which is what we will do in the next video.